In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to send simple notifications to your Android TV using Home Assistant. Check it out. What's going on guys? I hope you're all doing well. I've got a very quick and simple video for you today, which is derived from an automation I created yesterday. My use case for this was to get an alert on my TV whenever my dog opened the back door. So recently, Casper's figured out how to open the back door, and sometimes if we're watching TV, we don't even realise that he's let himself in, and when he does let himself in, he decides he's going to eat everything in the bin. There's plenty of different ways that you can get notifications from Home Assistant, and I actually created a video on this not that long ago, so if you're interested in some other ways, then go and check that out. For this video, there's going to be a few things you need. First of all, you're going to need a working version of Home Assistant. Then you're going to need an Android TV. In this particular video, I'm going to be using the Fire Stick. And the last thing you're going to need is to just hit that subscribe button and ding dong the notification bell. You'll then be alerted to any future videos that I do. For this video, we're using the Fire TV. First of all, we're going to want to navigate to the settings. We then want to find the My Fire TV option. In the My Fire TV options, we want to just find ADB debugging and we want to make sure that that's turned on. Once ADB debugging has been enabled, we're going to just add an app to the Fire TV. So we're going to go to Find and we're going to press Search. We then want to type in Notifications. Once we start typing it, we should see the option for Notifications for Fire TV. So I'm just going to press that one. The application that we want is this Notifications for Fire TV. So we're just going to press that. It's then going to give us the option to install it, so we're just going to download it. And once that's done, we're going to just press Open. And once that's open, we're going to just press close. We then need to accept the data policy. And then we can just close the app. And that's going to be everything that we need to configure from the Android TV or Fire Stick. We're now going to be making use of a local push integration called Notifications for Android TV. I'll have this page linked in the description below. But on this page, there's some useful information, such as some of the different configuration options. We're just going to be creating a very simple notification, which is just going to contain text and an image of our choice. But you can do things like grabbing an image from your security camera or from a website. Okay, so on our Home Assistant dashboard, we're going to first open up the file editor. For this integration setup, I'm just going to be storing the configuration directly in configuration.yaml. And I'll have this simple config in the description below if you want to go and copy that. And we're just going to go ahead and paste that in here. For this, there's two bits of information that you can tweak. So you can customize the name of whatever your device is. And for the host, you're going to need to change this to be the IP address of the device you're using. If you're not sure of the device's IP address, just head into your network settings to view that. If you're using a Fire TV, if you just go back into the My Fire TV options, there's then an option for network and it will tell you what your IP address is. Once you've got all that done, just hit the save button. We're then going to need to just restart Home Assistant. So we're just going to press configuration. We're then going to scroll down to the bottom and press server controls. You then want to just check your configuration to make sure your YAML's all okay. If that's configuration valid, you want to just scroll down a bit more and press restart. Once your Home Assistant comes back to life, we can then start playing around with this notification. To test that it's all working, we're first going to just try it out in the developer tools. So we're going to navigate to the side here and we're just going to press developer tools. In the developer tools, you want to just press on services up at the top. And then in the service, you want to just start typing the name of the device that you just added. In my case, it was Fire Stick, so I'm just going to start typing Fire Stick. And I can see that there. We can then add some values to this notification. So you want to add a message, which is going to be the body of the notification. So add your message in there, then give it a title. Then we're just going to set some basic values in the data. So we're going to press data. And we're just going to add in the parameters for the duration, the font size, and the position. These configuration values are available on the integration page. They're quite self-explanatory. The duration is obviously how long the notification is going to stay on your screen. The font size is how big the text is going to be. And the position is just where the notification is going to appear on your screen. And if we hit call service now, that should hopefully just display the default notification type and it will have our message in there. Here's another look at those configuration options. So there's a few more that you can set. So you can do things like change the color of the notification, and this is just going to be the actual background color of that notification. You can also set the transparency and the timeout. And another really cool one is you can actually set an interrupt. So if you use the interrupt, if you're watching a particular type of media content, so say Netflix or a YouTube video, 
when you receive one of these notifications on your screen, it will actually stop that media from playing. This could be useful if you want a really abrupt notification. Let's jump back to our simple notification and just add a little bit more to it. So we could add a color. And we'll just give it the color red. We're also going to add an image to our notification. And this image will be presented above the text. So let's go ahead and add that in now. So we're going to set the parameter file and give it a path. And this path is a local path. So this image is hosted on my home assistant. And that image just comes under my www folder. I'll just quickly show you where that is if you haven't already got it set up. So we're going to jump back into the file editor. In the file editor, we want to just navigate to the www folder. So let's do that now. So we'll press browse file system. Then we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and choose www. I like to keep my folder structure quite organized. So I've got a folder here that I've created just for images. If you want to create a folder, you just press this new folder button at the top and then just give your folder a name. Inside of that images folder, then we can either just drag and drop stuff directly into here or we can use the upload file button and choose a file to add. So add any images that you want to use in your notifications into your folder. After you add any images to that folder, you're going to need to restart Home Assistant. I'm not sure if you do always have to restart Home Assistant for it to pick up those changes, but whenever I refreshed my resources, it never picked up the new image. So if you know a really good way of refreshing the resources, let me know in the description below. If not, just press restart and it will pick up the image. So we've now got our simple image with a new color and also an image. So if we hit call service, we should see that appear on our screen. And that's essentially it. You should now be able to get notifications on your TV. Here's a quick automation that I created once I had the notification set up. And if you followed along with this, you can just copy and paste everything you did in the developer tools into your automation. So for my one, I just have a window and door sensor on the back door. And whenever that gets opened, it's going to call that notification. And that notification is just going to pop up a notification on my screen to say Casper alert. So yeah, super simple and very easy to set up. My use case wasn't very complicated, but you could make it more complicated. So you could do things like if there was motion detected, you want to grab an image from your camera and have that display in that notification. Or maybe you could make use of the interrupts to stop whatever you're doing on the TV. Another one that I've used it for is just a little passive notification to have it pop up on the corner of the screen when a member of the family comes home. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this notification type and how you plan on using it. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop me a like right in. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button and ding dong that notification bell and you'll be alerted to any future videos I do. A massive thank you to my patrons for supporting my channel. If you're interested in becoming a patron, there'll be a link in the description below. If you're interested in my content and want to see some behind the scenes, my social media is also linked below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to display simple notifications on your Android TV. TV.